What's up guys, Michael Gonzalez, AKA your boy Gonzo. I got a really cool video that I'm actually really, really proud of posting. Um, this truck right here, full transparency, is not my truck. It is my dad's truck. And my dad really did come in clutch for me about six months ago. The Porsche that I have is not my daily car. Uh, about six months ago, I was driving around a 2006 uh, Subaru Legacy, just a stock car that got me from point A to point B. It was a good little daily, good on gas. Well, it was a good car until it wasn't. Um, about an hour away from home because I do a lot of traveling for work, uh, especially on the road. Uh, the car went boom and it was no bueno. So called up my dad, I was like, hey dad, I got a situation. Uh, I bought Stacy a new car because the whole plan all along was whenever that car went to crap that I would get her hand me down and she would get the new car. So the issue was, that car was gonna take six months to get here. So I called my dad, I was like, hey, do you have a car that I can borrow until my wife's car gets here and before I get her hand-me-down? He's like, yeah, take the truck. I was like, sweet. So um, the deal with the truck though is the paint is in pretty bad shape. So what I'd like to do is obviously give it back to him in better shape that I got it. Um, I ended up getting the interior shampooed and uh, detailed uh, just the other day so the inside's looking good but i want to get that outside looking good and it's going to take a little bit of work all right so the first thing that i really wanted to show you guys is the actual condition of the hood and as you can see it is not good uh here in central texas we do have a lot of hard water because of the mineral deposits that are here um, inside of our aquifers. Um, but my goal is to hopefully get all these water spots out, get a nice, uh, smooth, clear shine on it, and uh, kind of go from there. But I did want to at least show you guys what the starting paint is going to look like. Uh, the hood is by far one of the worst parts, so this is going to probably take the most time. Uh, some things I'm not going to be able to get out just because the scratches are too deep. But um, I think it, it'll be all right. When I first got the truck about six months ago or so, the first thing that I did to it was actually polish the truck. So uh, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping that uh, the work that I put in six months ago will help me today. I know that there's a lot of micro swirls in here as well. Um, can't really see it in this video because there's no direct light hitting it, but the micro swirls are pretty bad. So I do believe with the compound that I'm gonna be using, I should be able to take all the micro swirls out. After I get done with the compound, I do plan on going over it with a ceramic topping, not a ceramic coating, but a ceramic spray, detail spray to, to help with the shine. The next step right now, because I've already washed it, uh, I did wash it a little bit earlier, but it was too hot to continue. So I'm letting the sun go down a little bit, but I do need to clay bar it. So that's the next step. I'm going to clay bar it tonight and then... Uh, Probably gonna go over to my friends, Martin Weatherspoon. He owns Bellavaro Auto Spa. I'm gonna go hit him up and uh, we're gonna knock this thing out together. So stay tuned. was a workout but after all said and done uh, my dad's truck has now officially been washed and clay barred so the prep work for the actual um, polishing uh, is, is is done I can't stress enough I think for me personally the prep work that goes into the vehicles before you actually polish it is probably one of the hardest there's just so much that goes into it can you just Put on a polishing pad and go at it yeah you you could um are the results going to be what you want them to be not necessarily not always um also depends on how well you've maintained your vehicle paint to begin with um a lot of times if you don't do any prep work and you just put a pad on it you're gonna end up going through a ton of pads um so but the truck is ready to go for tomorrow 
hopefully crossing fingers since uh, I have my buddy helping me out. We'll be able to knock this thing out in a few hours. Um, but I'm excited to see what it looks like uh, for sure. Anyways, I'll holler at you guys tomorrow. What is up y'all? And we are back full transparency. It is Sunday morning. So not didn't get to knock it out Saturday like I'd liked, but it's all good. We got good weather this morning. It's nice and cool out here. Um, can't get my day started without a good cup of joe so um on the way back to the house right now i'll get the garage popped um i'll go over some of the products that i'm going to be using uh to get the truck to where i hope i envision it being um but yeah it's gonna be a good day all right guys we we're back at the house um i wanted to show you some of the products i'm going to be using um i know that initially this morning i was supposed to be going over to martin weatherspoons the owner of bellevar ospa same th something came up, so he's not able to, to meet this morning, but I've known him for about five years. Uh, I was talking to him about what I'm trying to do with my dad's truck and the paint. I even showed him some pictures of it. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using today. It's Griot's 3-in-1. Um, he said for my experience, for those who aren't quote-unquote professional detailers, this is a really, really good um, compound. Uh, it says here on the, it removes light swirls, enhances gloss, and protects all in one step. Uh, removes oxidation um, and light stains to create a high gloss. So if that is what it does, this should be perfect. Um, and on top of that, a lot of the other compounds, like you have to use a cutting compound. And then after you get done with that, you got to wipe it down. And you got to go back on top of it again with another like finishing compound. Um, so it makes it nice that I only have to do it one time with this. Um, I do have the orange pads. It's a medium to heavy cutting and I have a few of those as well. And then I also will be using this. Um, now I, I believe there's all kinds of brands, but this is chemical guys. Uh, it's just a conditioner for your pad. Give it a spray every, you know, so often. So that way your pad staying lubricated. Uh, it just helps with the, uh, the longevity of the pad itself. Um, and then, of course, I have the polishers. I use this polisher right here for the sides of the doors. It just, the size of it makes things a lot easier um, to go on this part of the truck versus using the big polisher for it. So I'm going to get this started. I hopefully will keep you guys in the loop, show you some before and after pictures. So that way you can see what the product's doing as well. And hopefully I can finish my coffee because... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but without my coffee in the mornings, I'm useless. So um, let's get this thing started. All right, this is the before and after. Obviously this is the untouched uh, side and this is the three in one Grios. Um, you know, it didn't get all the water spots out like I had hoped. Um, I may have to go to a harder compound um, to take a little bit more off the top, but I mean, it definitely enhances the gloss. Like some of the, the areas, like this is nice and smooth. I can feel it. This is really, really nice. Um, even the top is smooth, but damn, I got to get out these water stains somehow. I'll keep you in the loop. I'm going to try a couple of different things. And if it works, I'll definitely let you guys know. All right. So I did go over this with a little bit heavier compound. The spots are still there. Um, as I said before, I'm not a professional. Does it look like night and day? 100%. To go from this to that, that's pretty good. And the heavier compound that I used was 3M rubbing compound. And I just took out another pad, uh, made sure the you know, uh, surface is clean and ready for me to go over with this. And I actually think it did uh, a little bit better job. Now, it could just be because I went over it a few more times with the polisher. But for the most part, I, I do think that it did do a little bit more to help out with the, the heavier uh, compound. So we'll see. I might try the same thing on this side, but, uh, you know, this is basically after polishing before. So definitely a, a, a huge difference. And there we have it. Is it perfect? No, there's definitely still some flaws. Like I said, I couldn't get all the water spots out, but compared to how it was, I'm pretty happy with the results. You know, this paint was in pretty bad shape. Um, this, the hood was by far the worst part of the vehicle. 
Um, and for the tools and knowledge that I have, I'm pretty satisfied. So um, I'm gonna continue on with the rest of the truck and see what the final results looks like. All right, I've done this back piece. I am actually pretty satisfied with that. It came out looking pretty sharp. Um, like I said, the hood was obviously the, the worst part. The side uh, and all the rest of the truck isn't too bad because I did this about six months ago. But um, after topping it off with uh, Meguiar's Z-Chair Last Touch Spray Detailer, it really does uh, hit the spot. So I'm pretty happy with the way that back part came out. I still got to do this on up, but just wanted to show you all kind of the results from just this uh, back part. I stopped right above the center of the, the tire. So not too shabby. After all said and done, I think three and a half hours later, we're done. I'm actually pretty happy with the results, guys. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the product that I used was really, really good. I'd recommend it, the Griots 3-in-1. Um, like I said, I did have some trouble with the hood at the very beginning. I had to put something a little bit heavier on that helped out a little bit more. Um, and that was the 3M, uh, 3M rubbing com compound. Um, but, all in all, I still got to do the windows on the outside. There's still still got to clean the, the wheels and the tires, but the paint, at least the the most time consuming thing is done. So uh, for those of you who do your own cars, hopefully this helped out a little bit. Uh, again, I'm not a professional or anything, but I enjoy what I do. If you like this video, please do not forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and I'll catch y'all guys later.